All right, groundbreaking day. All right, so Empty today's house. the day, groundbreaking day at Community First Village to get the first tiny hemp home built here in Austin, Texas for this amazing uh, homeless community in East Austin. Um, it's been about a year in the making putting this together since we're, the three of us sat in Cody's tiny home here on the couch. Um, you know, reaching out to you guys to help support and the outpour of support you guys gave us to make this happen was incredible. Um, you know, we've had, you know, three great major donors, sponsors of the project um, that really contributed a lot to it. Uh, Realty Austin primarily being one of them. Um, such an amazing local brokerage here in Austin supporting the community in many ways. Um, we got Dr. Bronner Soap as well that does so many philanthropic missions and supports so many communities, not only across the United States, but across the world. Um, and then U.S. Hemp Wholesale out of Michigan, uh, who's really promoting and uh, educating people on industrial hemp and its many uses like CBD, cosmetic, cosmetic products and stuff like that. And then um, we had 46 donors on this project. So it wasn't only the big donors, but a bunch of the little donors that made this come to life. Um, and so many people that believed in our mission on really wanting to support this amazing community, but also bring um, industrial hemp here to Austin, to Texas, and to the United States, and to really showcase its versatility. Um, and I think the building industry was a huge uh, showcase for that and what hemp can do. And then, you know, Cody and, and Doug here, that have been supporting it. Doug, the builder, Cody, the architect, really getting the plans together. Unfortunately, Luli can't be here, who's the hemp designer and consultant on it. Um, but she's here in spirit and she'll be here in Austin for the hemp installation as well. And, you know, we've really got a great team that has the same mission on educating people on industrial hemp and really supporting this community and uh, sustainability. So, um, any thoughts on, on this, Cody? Uh, yeah, we just want to say thanks. That's about it. I, you know, I lived here for a year and a half. It's an amazing experience, amazing people um, keeping this mission alive and we just wanted to give back. So thank you for everybody out there that donated, helped us make this possible. And uh, we're looking forward to sharing the process with you uh, along the way. This, this is groundbreaking. So day one, get the framing up and then in about what, three months, we might have this baby done. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be done probably a little bit sooner than that, hopefully, but we'll, we'll see how, <laughs> how progress uh, progresses. Um, I, I'm, as the builder, excited about doing something different. Uh, number one, excited about helping out the community and helping out, uh, you know, our fellow human beings. And uh, just thrilled to be able to have been asked by, uh, by Henry and by Cody to uh, be a part of this project. I think uh, it's something very cool and uh, and eye-opening in so many ways, uh, also very inspiring. So uh, just really, really excited to be part of it as the builder. Uh, we've got some cool stuff up our sleeve regarding some of the finishes, and uh, we're trying to be as agile as we can with this, or as Henry will let me be, and uh, Cody will let me be. And the budget will let um, you yeah, be. <laughs> and the budget will let, let us all be. So we're all coming together for a, a very fantastic cause here, and. It feels darn good, and uh, I'm just happy to be part of it. So, thank you. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Let's do this. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys so much. Um, we'll be updating you with progress and events and things coordinated around the project and the build. Um, you know, with the hemp installation, that's going to be a big part of it, a big educational portion that we really want to showcase to everyone. In my mind, we could easily have fields of this hemp growing and it could literally... Supporting our Texas farmers absolutely. here. Absolutely. It could literally be cut down, harvested, processed, and then straight up turned into this home right here. Once we get it completed, uh, look out for some Hemp History Week events we'll be doing around it as well. So uh, thank you all again for your support. It's really incredible, the outcry. Um, and just, you know, the love and support that we got from you to make this come to life. And uh, we're going to bring it to life and not let you guys down and enjoy the fruits of it and support this amazing community. Just go check out Community First Village. They're doing some great work in Austin. And I think this idea is going to kind of grow into the rest of the country and hopefully the rest of the world because, you know, homeless people and all people deserve to live a, a decent life, a better standard of living. So we can give that to them and we can do it in a hemp house. That's what we're going to do. All right, guys, here's, here's the hemp that we're going to build this house out of. So. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. I missed that was it. awesome. <laughs>